Are you looking to buy a new gaming headset and you're looking at the Astros A40s or A50s because you've seen your favorite streamer wearing it? Wait till you see this video. I'm gonna be comparing the Astros A40 with my HyperX gaming headset and then decide for yourself if you wanna buy the Astros. Let's get to it. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tiger. Today we're gonna be comparing the Astros A40 headset with my old headset uh, HyperX Cloud 2. Yes, yeah, Cloud 2. Uh, and we're gonna see if this is something that you wanna invest your money in, the Astros A40. I got my headset right here. This is my old headset. I've had this for about a year. When I first got it, I was impressed by the quality of the materials, the comfort, the sound of the mic. It was good. It was really good. For the price that I paid, at that time I paid about 60 bucks on Amazon. The only thing that I think this headset doesn't give you as good as the Astros is that surround sound. I feel like sometimes when I'm still, when I'm playing Warzone, I still don't hear like if somebody's on top of me or below me, I just hear it somewhere. I just know they're there, but I can't tell if it's up or down. I can tell whether it's left or right, but sometimes it's hard to tell whether it's up or down. That's the only thing, but as far as the sound, the bass, things like that, it sounds amazing, it sounds pretty good. I'm gonna be doing a test uh, mic so you can see, you can hear what the mic will sound like. So these are the HyperX and now you can hear what the mic sounds like. It sounds pretty clear, they look pretty good. It doesn't sound staticky or anything like that. It sounds pretty good. They're very comfortable, they're easy to adjust. You just pull, push, you know. Pretty easy, pretty simple. As you can see, the mic is pretty flexible. You can adjust it however you want. You can also detach it, as you can see here, in case you have an external mic and you don't wanna use the one on your headset. The top cushion is also very soft. It doesn't put any pressure on the top of your head, so you can wear it for extended periods of time. The exterior has a nice, smooth silicone texture to it, and the frame is like an aluminum frame pretty pretty st sturdy it doesn't give you all that pressure on your head so you can wear it for a long time the headset connects to this little control where you can adjust the volume for both the headset and the mic and you can turn on the 7.1 surround sound and also it has a mute switch on the side these are very flexible and I like that they are big so they cover my whole ear so I can wear them for a long time and not have any pressure on my ears they also come with another set of padding in case you like the cloth feel versus the leather feel. The pads are pretty easy to take off, but they are a little bit more tricky to put on. So these are pretty much ready to go out of the box. Just plug and play if you're on console. If you're on PC, just go to the settings and set this as your default sound device. So far, these have been my favorite headsets. So that is a big plus for HyperX for making these amazing headsets. That's what, that's what I have for my old HyperX 2, Cloud 2. Now let's get into the Astros and let's see if this is something you wanna invest your money in before you actually do it. Let's go. This video is not sponsored by Astros or HyperX. Okay, welcome back. These are the Astros A40s and this is what the mic sounds like. They sound pretty loud and clear, no static. The cool thing about Astros is that you can customize your headset however you want. Just go to their website, go to customize, uh, Astro design, design yours. You can select the colors that you want. Choose from very different styles. You can choose the cushion colors, headband color and styles. A lot of different ways you can customize it. You can even customize the cable color, the mic color, the tags. You can choose whatever you want. And that's the cool part about Astros, that you can customize your headset in any way you want. The padding is pretty thick and they can look pretty bulky. They are not as wide as the HyperX. Fortunately, I don't have big ears, but I still kind of have to wiggle my ear inside the cup. If I use it for a really long time, I do find myself constantly readjusting for comfort. The whole frame and exterior is made of plastic and it doesn't have that silicone texture that the HyperX have. But regardless, the visual design does look pretty cool. It includes this adapter which you can plug to your PC 
There's one for the mic and one for the headset. However, I could never get the mic to work with this setup. And I'll get into that in a little bit. The cable is actually pretty long and it does feel like pretty good quality. And it also has a mute switch. The ear cushions can easily be detached. They are held by magnets. If you ever want to replace them or you want a different color, you can just buy them on their website and they snap back into place. Adjusting the headset is not the easiest thing. It does take quite a bit of force to do it and it is not as smooth as the HyperX. Pulling down or pushing up while you're wearing them seems to be pretty difficult. Best way is to do it one by one. Some of these edges are pretty sharp, so make sure you get a good grip. The mic is also very flexible and very easy to accommodate. The frame does have decent flexibility and the headphones do rotate about 90 degrees. The headset itself does feel a little tight and it can be uncomfortable if you're wearing it for a long period of time. Because the cushions are smaller, it can put some pressure on your ears, making you adjust for comfort more constantly. You can also buy different colored tags. If you want to change them, just pull them back. They're also held by magnets. You just snap them back on. One cool feature about the Astros is that you have the option to choose which side you want to put the mic on. Both sides have a microphone jack and they're pretty easy to change. You just take out the tags, switch them around and connect the mic on whichever side you want to have it on. You also have the option to not use the mic if you have an external mic. Now back to the issue where my mic wasn't working with the adapter. I looked all over YouTube for how to fix this issue and make it work and I couldn't find any solutions. So I decided to buy the mix amp separately, which wasn't cheap, and it did fix the problem. But it did come with some issues as well that I had to figure out. So after about a week of trying to figure out how to connect these and how to make them work, I finally got them to work. I looked at so many YouTube videos on how to do it, so many issues, but I finally got it, figured it out. Now with that said, something else that you could do is you can just buy the mix amp and connect your old headset, any headset that you want, connect it to the mix amp, and you can also tweak the settings for those headsets. So it doesn't matter, you don't have to spend $200 on this plus the mix amp. You just get the mix amp, connect your headset, and there you go. So if you have the money to spend and you have the time to waste on figuring out how to do this and how to set it up and watching a lot of YouTube videos, then go ahead and buy the Astros A40. They actually sound pretty good after you spend about a week of trying to set it up. But yeah, there you go. All right, guys. So here's some of the things that we talked about and how they stack up when you compare them, at least in my opinion. Starting off with the HyperX at $70 compared to the Astros at $199 plus the mix amp for $129 goes to $329. But if you buy the bundle, that's $250, which is still a lot more than the HyperX. For material, the quality on the HyperX was a lot better in my opinion. We had a frame that was aluminum. The texture was more silicone. It had a really nice feel to it. The cushions were a little bit softer. So I give the point to the HyperX plug and play. So the HyperX right out of the box, you can just connect it play you don't have to set up anything it's ready to go the astros needs a lot more things that you gotta do to uh, get it to work comfort hyperx was really comfortable the cushions were a lot wider my ears would just fit right in it was more comfortable you gotta give it to that hyperx sound quality they both get a point because they do both sound really good however when it comes to surround i gotta give it to the astros the surround sound with the mix amp you have more control of it, it, it sounds a lot better or surround. Uh, adjustability, the way that you can adjust it. This one is like really hard. I have to like really put some, some pressure on it. The HyperX was a lot easier. I could just squeeze or, or just with one finger, just pull and push. It was super easy. So I got to give it to, to the HyperX on that one. Customization, obviously the Astros take it. You can customize almost anything on this headset. You can customize the top, the tags, the cushions, the mic. You can customize almost anything. Looks, I got to give it to the Astros. They have, you know, the design is pretty cool. Also with the customization, you know, so many, so many ways that you can make them look. So I got to give it to the Astros on that. But in total, I got six points for the HyperX, four points for the Astros. And that's about it, guys. That's my opinion. You guys make a decision for yourselves. Let me know what you guys think about this. Leave it in the comments. Give it a like. And I'll see you in the next one.
Thank you guys for watching. I'm working my way to a thousand subscribers. If you find this video helpful and you're new here, consider subscribing. Have a great day. Check out some of the videos that are popping up on your screen right now. And I'll see you guys over there.